easy. It's super easy. And you'll be that easy. But a little system. But on normal, which is what I recommend, it's actually pretty hard. Like, it starts out easy enough, but by this level, the normal combat is hard enough where you will die in a regular encounter. Not mm. so. yeah. And the other two different are super hard. Oh, why do we want a pet? Yeah. Okay, so at launch, launch, yeah, yeah. So at launch, the pet is Wally, like a regular pet. So what did you get the art style from? It's kind of this mix between anime and western. So it's all the creator. So the, the director of this game, Sawaki so Takeo, he was the art director for Kami. He's the director and he's the art director. So he drew every character, he did almost all the art style. And it's, it's a really unique thing. Yeah, and it's very abstract, and I think like, especially in this genre, everything always looks so photorealistic mm -hmm. that this really does stand out as something that's like, on purpose, abstract, expressive, like, trying to do something that is not the one. And the narrative also is, you know, it, it, it's pretty deep, and it sticks very closely to the So are all the uh, cutscenes done in this kind of... No, these are just the, these are the level loading screens, actual cutscenes, there's some CG, some real time, um, that's just the truth. So you start every level an arc, kind of trippy, and it's also very simple. So there's only four buttons to use. X is jump. You can also double jump. Um, square is attack, and when you unarm, it's punch and kick, and it's all based on timing. So like you actually have like 20 or 25 combos, and it's all timing. And then R is block, and while you're blocking, when you press X, you do a dodge. When you unarm, it's a roll, and you can roll in any direction. Um, and then L is used to. Uh, Steal weapons from Does it ever explain why angels favor blue jeans, or is this just another one of those great celestial mysteries? Well, so the, the genes are a gift. The genes are a gift from Lucifer, and okay. Lucifer can transcend time and space. Yeah. And clearly, he's been to 2010 era Japan, and he likes a lot. Big fan of diesel. Like yeah. <laughs> well, not diesel. They're made by Edwin Jean, which is a Japanese oh, designer jean. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, and they actually went on sale in December, and they sold out in five minutes. So they're going to remake them. In, in women's sizes. The exact jeans from this game. All right, so there's two pairs. There's a pair that you're not wearing, and there's a pair that you gotta have them, man. You gotta have them. <laughs> I do now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm jealous. All right, so we'll call you So the art style for each level it changes for. I mean, there's a consistent aesthetic. Like character is the same, and some levels look completely different. Some levels look different. And every, you know, each of the tower levels on purpose meant to be very unique. It's meant to reflect the desire of the angel. Mm. And this demo, you see the voices are all in Japanese. Um, the English one will have full English voices. Will we have the option to keep the Japanese dialogue with subtitles? Yes. Yeah. So okay. the Japanese version, which, come, which comes out in April, will be only in Japanese. There's no English in it whatsoever. The version you're going to get up is you can choose your language for some kind of language. And we can use e-things as well. And what systems is it coming out for? PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360. So this enemy is about to pop up here. He has uh, an arch, the orange sword. And what that is, it's like this magical lightsaber slash chainsaw heavy noises. So once you take it back to the Purify it. You'll see it goes from the orange to the blue. And so when you're, when you're actually when you're actually fighting, as you attack enemies and block, your weapon slowly gets uh, defiled and will turn orange again. And when that happens, all you have to do is press L1 and it purifies it again. It doesn't cost anything, but you're vulnerable while you do that. So if you do good combat, you can get hit. So that's kind of a big central risk reward thing. So there's no true item decay. Where it's like if you just use it, it'll break and you're right. like that. And, and you only need to you only carry one object at a time. Okay. Mm -hmm. so, it's, 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 so that little girl, she's riding on a nebula, which is what happens when a human and an angel have a child. Oh, okay. In the actual book of Enoch, they're like monsters, but here they're kind of cute Japanese slimes. <laughs> yeah, but they're like they're, I was just saying they're like the um, they're like the spirits and spirit away. Right. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. yeah. Sure. <laughs> Studio Ghibli is obviously another big touchdown for you. Mm -hmm. All right. So as you get the combat here, like you, know, you attack. You have all you different combos you can do. You hold down block, you can attack, it's a launcher. So you can launch guys up in the air. So even though I already have an arch, it's a good idea to take their arch, because it automatically purifies yours. And they don't have our weapons, it's much weaker. 
And so I just parry. You actually you block just as you're being attacked. You parry. You also counter attack. You're pulling a down attack as you're being attacked, and you let go at the exact right moment to counter attack. But the timing is really precise, as expected. You know, given the pedigree of the Dunkley Cry team, the combat with the Arch does feel a lot like Dunkley Cry. So the arch gives you other things. So you can double jump and you can also float downward while holding the arch. <laughs> and your dodge with the arch, instead of being the roll, you actually kind of just jump in one of the four party directions. So it's actually not as good as when you're unarmed, but it's still pretty effective. But it's on purpose. Each of the weapons has a different dodge and different jumping, uh, different running speed. So do the weapons change per level, or how does that work? So in this level, you actually, in the first level, you only have the arch. In the second level, you have to find the second level. This is the third level, you actually find all three levels. So you, every, do, do the weapons change each, like do they reset every time you get into a new level, or? No. So, we actually did You can come to a level on arch, that's what happened. So this is the projectile weapon, it's called a gale. It's very different. It's, not really my favorite, but I will take it just because I'll show you what it does, it's strategic, and I'm still trying to kind of master it myself. So once they're static, you can So this control is really different. Uh, you just tap, it's kind of like a shooter, you gotta shoot these things out really fast. If you hold it down, you just shoot all out at once like that. Uh, it's useful when you push them, you can attack them really far away. But its dash is, is fantastic, this thing. So you can get around really fast, you're invincible while you do it. And if you keep this weapon through the level, you can use that for traversal. So you can get fly around, jump over pits. So weapons are just dependent on which enemies have them. Right. And which one you choose to take. Like I didn't have to take this weapon, I wanted to take this weapon. This weapon also uh, it takes the longest time to purify this weapon. Are you really vulnerable on the It's here, now I can... So is him running shirtless now, is that just a result of him taking damage? Or? Right, so yeah, you see there's no off-screen indicators. So when you're down to just your genes, you also see the red, <laughs> you see the red hue around the screen. I'm, I'm one hit to die. Okay. But here's some hearts, and they will... I need to build my armor piece by piece. You basically have six pieces of armor. Okay. So I'm kind of glad I have this weapon here because normally these uh, little fireball guys are really annoying. You can't, you can't hit them unless you get close. If I want to just like avoid, uh, I like to cross all. Oh, not good. I'll fall on the tip. I'd be looking at zone. So shit. But I, I think for people who are going to be into like speed rounds, it's all about this weapon. This weapon is fastest. It's pretty good. Can you imagine? No, no, seriously. No. Steady man. I make it more difficult. So this is one of the seven fallen angels. In fact, it's Azazel. He is second in command. And he kind of, through the first few levels, keeps testing you to see if you're strong enough to fight him. Of course, I'm not really trying to fight him. You see that ancient script kind of flying around? That is Enochian, which is a real ancient language from the times of Enoch. And it's throughout this entire game, but I can't read it, but somebody else can. I'm going to do it. which is a tough weapon. <laughs> but if you can master its dash, which is again, hold down R1 and press X, it's uh, advanced play. See, that's kind of, you can save yourself. And the game is very forgiving with like saving yourself. If you walk off and you love it, it actually jumps three times instead of the normal two times. If you walk off.
So how did they come up with this idea? Or is this just like the typical Japanese fascination with Judeo-Christian stuff like that? It, 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 it actually, the concept for Sawaki to make a game based on Boogie Up came from our guys in London. And they were like, mm -hmm. they thought it was a really cool premise, and but then they let him run it. And so you know, his interpretations of all of the, the way things look and the story itself was on him. So, but I think they did pressure him to, you know, to be true to it and not to deviate so much from the actual character. Mm -hmm. um, So, that, so yeah, so now you want to purify all one. You see there's like a little visual cue. Whenever, whenever your weapon turns orange, that means it is defiled. So like that's a pit. So there's like a little lip there to let you know that it is actually a pit. Also, if you're really expert player, you can kind of dash through this whole section, but turn it. I would probably try and do that. Yeah, double jump. The whole world. At this stage is indicative of it kind of gives you a variety. There's three, there's these three progression parts. There are also some two D parts in this level, and there's a few arena battles, and those are the three main gameplay parts. And later on, the pacing gets really different. It's in different kinds of levels getting introduced, but for the first half of the game, it's kind of like relaxed. Jump ahead. Jump ahead. Thank you. Vanessa oh, from oh, Piano yeah, Dream. No, 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 no. <laughs> I haven't heard that one. Vanessa. 